Hey guys, it is Michelle. Um, I just finished filming my live video about my purses, so I figured I would finish up the items I used up video that um, I didn't get finished. I put most of my purses away. Um, let's go get that shit out of the way. And let's just film our um, items I've used up. So, shall we get started? The first item on the list is this shower gel. I use these as bubble baths just because um, I'm not a shower gel girl. I'm more of a soap girl. But I used this for my pumice stone for my feet and for um, a bubble bath. This is Waikiki Beach Coconut by Bath & Body Works. It smells really good. It smells a lot like a pina colada, which is delicious. It is described as beach coconut, pink passion flower, saltwater breeze, fresh bamboo, and sun bleached woods. This was really good. Obviously, we're at the end of the summer season, so you're probably not gonna be able to find it, but I've seen this the past two years. So I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it next year or on eBay, wherever you do your shopping. I'm sure Amazon carries it as well, but this was absolutely delicious. And this I'm gonna clean out. This was a gift for my birthday by my best friend. It is a pineapple um, candle. This was in the scent. Cucumber coconut water and it smelled so amazing. I burnt it down to nothing. I'm gonna wash this up and I'm gonna use this as a decoration for summer. This will make a great little candy dish at my desk at work. It's just so darn cute. So I'm going to actually hang on to this and clean it out because it's just way too nice to throw it out. I'm not sure where she got this from. I have a feeling it was Target. She loves Target, but this is just too damn cute. I don't know where it came from, but I absolutely love it. It's adorable. Next item that I used up was this bath bomb. This is called Honey Bee Mine. This is by Bomb Cosmetics. Oh my God, it smells so good. Um, Bomb Cosmetics is a UK brand. I've tried ordering from them, but they do not ship to the US as of right now. But their stuff smells so good. But you can find them at TJ Maxx. I found this particular one for $3.99 at TJ Maxx. And a cute little honeybee on it and glitter. And it smells like a warm musk mis mixed with honey. It's very nice. Um, Bomb Cosmetics tends to be on the floral side. So if you're more of a sweet person, I'm not sure how you would feel about them. I personally love their stuff when I can find it. Next is this bar of Cold Face. This was a sample from Lush. I love this stuff. I was using the um, Dark Angels for a while, but I've gone back to Cold Face and I'm absolutely loving it. So next time I go back, I will definitely be getting a bigger piece of Cold Face because this stuff is just amazing. Next is this Keratin Protein Treatment. I got this from Walmart for like 90 cents. Um, softens and prevents breakage in weak damaged hair. Um, this stuff worked really well. It had an okay smell. Um, my hair always needs conditioner. Really good product. Um, it did make my hair slightly oilier than what I normally expect. I've heard of people who paid big bucks for keratin treatments and I've seen the results. It's not that great, at least from the women that I know who have used it. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try. It was okay. Would I buy it again? Mm, probably not. If the price was right, maybe, but um, it's not something that I would be able to like, oh my god, I can't live without this product. You know what I'm saying? Next um, was this bar of soap that I got from one of the hotels that we stay at in the Cape. The best, it's not a bad soap. It has very old fashioned scent to it. It's triple milled soap. Very nice. But I do like it. I mean, it was nothing crazy. Next, love this. This um, I got from Boss Cos for like 50 cents and I absolutely love it. This is a champagne scented hand soap. It is our beautiful Marilyn Monroe. I got a ton of these, so I'm not upset to get rid of this one. I love this soap. <coughs> oh, bless me, sorry. It smells so good. There's a few different scents. I have quite a bit that I um, will be switching through. But I love anything with Marilyn Monroe on it. And these actually last a very long time if you see these at Boss Cows. I know a few places sell these huge soaps. I think Sears sells them as well. They're totally worth it. They're very cheap and um, they work really well. So love that. Next is this Black Cherry Merlot from Bath & Body Works. This smells so good. 
the best way for me to describe this particular fragrance is the Berry Push Pop Flintstones from the 90s. Oh my god, I love this so much. This is a repeat purchase. Absolutely love it. We'll buy it again. It's great. Next are these... Um, shampoo and conditioner I got from our cruise. This came from Celebrity Cruises. It smells really good. Oh, that smell brings me right back. There's definitely rosemary in here. But there's a citrus note that I can't quite place. It's not lemon. Maybe a lime. It just reminds me of our trip, and I absolutely love it. I have a ton of these, and I'll be using them up. I'm not going to lie. I miss being on the ship. If I could live on a cruise ship, I would, truly. This was a little peppermint soap that I used up. My mom gave me a bunch of these. I got a few left. Um, I do love using them because they smell great. This is actually a candle. Um, I'll probably show you the candle itself. Um, this was a coconut seaside candle from the dollar store the rose collection it says mermaid kisses on it when i have the container i didn't go get it but i'll show it to you on another day um this is really nice Oop. that just felt really good um some of the candles at the dollar tree they're not that bad this came in a walmart beauty box um this is the daily moisturizing yogurt body wash it smells like vanilla and oats now this wasn't bad but you do get the sourness of yogurt and i'm not a yogurt fan yeah, it smells a little on the sour side. Um, if you don't mind that, it's okay. I'm lactose intolerant, so I don't eat yogurt. I don't like this. I've never liked the smell of yogurt. I'm not a fan of it. Um, so it had a sourness to it. It smells sweet, but it's sour. So I wasn't crazy about that sour note. Um, does it clean you? Absolutely, but it's stinky. This I gotta find again because I absolutely loved it. Um, I got this originally at Hannaford, but last time I went, they didn't have it. This is a combing cream. This is Pantene Pro-V leave-in. I used it all summer long. And this stuff was great. It smells great. What you do is when you get out of the shower and your hair is still damp, you put this cream through your hair and it makes it so easy to brush your hair. Um, I really, really loved this product and I definitely need to get this product again. Um, if I can find it. Walmart don't carry it, so. At least my Walmarts don't. Next, I use Azure Skies Blaster. This is another Bomb Cosmetics. This came in a three pack. This one was blue with little um, seagull printed on it. It was really nice. It was very floral. I don't remember the actual notes though, to tell you the truth. Next, I have two of these Terra Green Conditioning Shampoos. These came from, on, the smell really remind me. These came from a like bed and breakfast that I stayed at over the summer. It wasn't bad. They had no television, which was really weird, but it was very relaxing. So I got these. I like how they have like on here, like um, braille. It's got a citrusy scent to it, but kind of old fashioned, if that makes sense. So I use up two of these. I love these things. like. I need to get a new shampoo, but um, they stopped carrying the one I like at the Walmart that I go to, so I need to find a new brand. Um, but I always grab these from the hotels. I know, like, as far as, like, people who hoard, they say don't grab them if you're not going to use them. I use them, so they're good to get you through. The next thing I use, this is another Bomb Cosmetics. I'm trying to use these up because I've had a few of them and they've been sitting for a while. This one is called In The Mood. It smells really nice. This one was, I'm trying to remember what was on it. This one had two little birds on it, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I got this from TJ Maxx for like three bucks because that's the only place I can get um, Bomb Cosmetics. I love their stuff. They're super adorable and they do fizz very nicely. Um, they're not, they're not like lush, but they're really good. And I love the scents. I love the way they look and they're really great, but um, you can't order from their website in the States. Next, I'm not going to show you this one yet. Oh, this is good. So this was at that same bed and breakfast where I got those shampoos. This is a little lotion in mint and aloe. It's called Element in this little package. This was really nice. I use lotion every time I get out of the shower. And this one was really good. 
it smelled nice. There's a few more items in here. Um, I used this Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit in my wallflower in my bathroom. A very refreshing scent. Um, it smells a lot like a tropical drink, which what's not to love about that? I love those. I used up this little Avon sample. This is in Plum Verbena. It's a really dark color. Very, very dark purple. But it was really nice. But these tend to bleed. Like, they don't stay on the lip. They kind of, like, look like a liner after a while. Kind of stinks. Um, this I would definitely buy again. Well, this was a sample, but I would definitely use it. Um, when I bought the fairest of them, the fairy palette, I got this for free from Sephora. This is the Tardis Tarte lash paint um, I would definitely this was a really really great mascara I don't like the idea of paying $20 for a mascara the way I go through them but this one was a great product and a really nice brush on it so I would definitely use this again maybe I'll treat myself in the future this was a great mascara I would totally recommend this one next I have two more items um, but these were both awesome this was from the Star Wars collection I finally killed one guys I'll be doing a project pan soon um, so you'll be seeing that very soon. This was one of the items I was trying to project pan. This is the Star Wars The Force Awakens. This is one of the colors in set, the color 70. They didn't have names. I completely killed it. It's just a really nice nude color. I used it at work a lot. So this was really nice. And last, but certainly not least, because we're running out of time, is this Jeffree Star, my first one that I killed in Candy Ass. And um, it was just a really nice metallic pinky color. But I gotta get going, so I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye!